and welcome back to Desborough Indoor Boards Club for the second session in the PBA's Scottish International Open 2023-2024. Our next game is James Rippey taking on Jonathan Dalton. Once we get a marker. Rebecca's just turned up. Yep, here we go. You may recognise Jonathan, because I had a chat with him earlier on, and he actually went over to the States to play in their qualifier for the World Singles. And he got beaten the final off our mate Scott Mazzoni. So, like I say, we're going out on Facebook and YouTube. Feel free to comment. Well, like I like a bit of interaction because I'm by myself at the moment. And I'm by myself all weekend. So I'll get a few different voices on so you, you'll not be putting up with me voice all shift. So on the mat there is I'll just go out of the camera there and kill that. So on the mat is Jonathan Dalton. He plays out of the Grattan Club in Sussex and he's playing with Blazers size three. And he's playing against James Rippey, James has been knocking around for a while, he's been down to Potter's, qualified for a few times, very experienced bowler, playing with Thomas Taylor, aces, size four. Goes in the PBAs and the OSC, so he's very keen, top quality bowler, James. I'm sure, did he go to school? We go to Scotland, to England, to England, to Scotland. I can't, somebody will probably correct us. It was a bit of a chuckled brother's moment anyway. Um, answer there, Carla, asking if how did uh, Jack Bird get on. Jack Bird won. Won the second set, drew the first set. So Jack is through. Like I say, we are at the Desborough Indoor Bowls Club here at Maidenhead. Newly built one. Cost about six million pounds, I'm led to believe. And it is spanking, absolutely spanking. If I could take this up, up north, I would uh, be the back of the car. If you need a blueprint of what an indoor bowls club should look like in the UK, a new one, this is the one. did have a slight hiccup in the first stream where well, I was actually trying to stream in HD but uh, it all went Pete Tong at the end so it was literally uh, sod it, turned it off We have had a, a couple of queries from the players about the three metre tees and the two metre tees. And Jason did come back with an answer for us, which I will just dig out.
Sorry about that, folks. Just got uh, collared. Just asking about the... Uh, just mentioning that they can hear the music on YouTube. Um, if you can just let us know, because obviously YouTube and Facebook do have a tendency to do something to the stream, cut us off a little bit. Um, I'm sure I've got it at the right level now. Just as long as you can't make the music out, to be honest. If you can hear it, it's fair enough, but if you can't actually make the song out, if you start singing to it, then it's too loud. Right, so for the second session, a quick shout-out to our sponsor, Mr. Perry Martin on Ring One. He got through, played, uh, got out of jail three cards, second set. Got a three, the last end on the second set, and got home. In one set and a half to a half. Martin, if I don't know what problems you've got at you or anything, let us know what problems you've got at you and then I can tell you if it is your end. Everybody else uh, seems to be okay. I haven't had nobody coming back. So whether you, you, you might have to, if you're on fire stick, just close your YouTube and go back in. But the stream seems to be going out. Okay, I've got it on the tablet here and I've got it on the Facebook channel as well. So I am keeping an eye on everything. So here we go. Down into it. Now I'm six foot six and I was looking up to Jonathan, so ah that Jonathan must be six seven. Pleased you sorted, mate. So here we go. Like I say, any comments, any chat, stick it on Facebook and YouTube, and we'll have a bit, bit crack on. Definitely getting spoiled with this scoreboard because they're putting the names on the right side. The scores are getting up to date. Anybody concerned about the old uh, bacon sandwich situation? Well, yep, we have got me bacon sandwich. I've just got it. So that'll be getting devoured round about uh, half past three. Get a cr bit of a crust on that bun. I just need to climb past it, Jonathan. Ah, oh, you've played a craft job here, son. Well played. Well played.
Jonathan says he likes to run up and down and he, he likes to stalk. Going up there like a gazelle. Needs to get a bit finish onto that back red ball. Yeah, well played, son. Call everybody, son. You'll be sick of us by the end of the, uh, the end of the day. Shout out there from Jonathan's brother Gavin there. Just wishing him good luck. Well, James has gone quick at it. Needs to get a contact. Oh, 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 oh my giddy hand. It was the old Catherine Rednell saying, holes for balls, Catherine, if you're watching. So, little nudge on his own ball. Make a four out of this. Definitely two, I think. A decent line again. It's very close if he gets past this ball here. Oh, can he get a contact? Well played. Yep, three it is. So, cracking the start with Jonathan. He, he was, I think he's kidding me at the start. He says, I should be happy to get on the pod here. I says to him, the worst that can happen, you get turned out, mate. And he loses in this. And he loses. Game of balls, end of the day. Get them near the near opponent, you'll win. If you don't, shake hands, come off. He was talking about going and have a crack at the South African event next year. Jonathan used to work for British Airways, so he gets uh, gets a good deal apparently. Good reply from James. Last, last ball it is. He's on a decent line. Just looking at the ball. From the side here, he doesn't look too bad, are you? Not too bad at all. Oh, well played, sir. Good stuff. Force James to play a little bit of a double here. Looking to get a grab uh, just over the top. If my right hand man's watching, I've got my shoes off, mate. If it looks a bit cloudy in this commentary box, it's my shoes. 
not going to hang for the ball, I think. Ah, good effort. And James is on a better line here. Oh, he's close here. Now, oh, yeah, come out it. It's a winner. So, safe draw here from James. High, wide, and handsome, I'm guessing here. He's on a line. Just needs to, needs to trickle. Needs to trickle. No. I stick it in your back pocket, mate. What a tease. So, 3 1, going at end number three. Jonathan picking up a three on the first end. James coming back with a quick single. I'm guessing we must be close to some airport round here because I can hear a, a plane going over the top. John Walker watching from Winuna in New South Wales, Australia. I think it's, I'm guessing it's good evening. It might be good morning. And apparently I've got the Eastbourne Bowls posses watching. Up bad son. Very close. Now uh, well played. The old uh, white stuff on. Thing that I've been that I've forgot. There we go. There we go. There's the sponsor's logo, Lane to succeed. It 
to uh, our sponsor in the Scottish International Development. Well, this has just got to finish. And look, he just ran out. James Old. Uh, he's trying to draw. Tippy tappy shot not really on. Bit of danger behind. Needs to run, I think. Needs to run. Yeah. So Same draw, I think. Score wide. Score wide. Trail the jack round the corner. You pick your four. He's looking down for the telly shot down here, which is... That'll draw. Pick the white up. You pick your three up. Yeah. Comes back six inches. You get your four. Play the other hand up. Chances are you're going to thin your own ball out. Could play it on the white. Yeah, he's going down his backhand. Well, wide enough, Jonathan. He's, he's prowling after it. He gets that fat, he might get in for two. Yeah, well played. Yeah, in for a double. Looking out the window here, I can just see, see the sun. It's absolutely glorious outside. Sods, aren't it? What a crappy August we had. Right, I found it. I found the email about the uh, two metres. Uh, the rules allow for either two or three metre tees, depending what is in use at the clubs where the qualifiers are held. The qualifier rules are displayed on the website. And your next question is going to be, what's the bloody website? There we go. www.worldbornstour.org forward slash draws.
of play, James. That was a test, 5-1. <laughs> sort the score. You're right, mate. Score's wrong. Just seeing if he's awake. Uh, rink for number four, Lorraine. Um, is Mark Essex is 4-1 up against Joe Morris. That's up to three ends. chance here for Jonathan, a little lift on that red ball, It'll put James in a whole heap of trouble and he's on a line I just overplayed it Paul Sharman is 10 nothing up after four ends in his game. One to James. James has just dropped this over the flag. Let's see if we're going to zoom in a bit. I think that's going to finish close for shot here. Yeah, well played. It's the winner. Didn't see the left of the mark there. Well, little sponsor there, Charlene Henderson. Well, 
comes down to Pierce. Pick young Jim Schmidt. It's just standing exactly where the ones is coming from. Well, I think that's the gaffer. Have you got enough in it? I think you're going down with the washing. You might get lucky. No. Ball's gone off. Well done the finish of the ball. Ah, he's in for two. Ah, I think Jonathan will go quick here. Push through it down his backhand. Going a little bit quick, he looks tight. Nice. The old saying the easy ones are the hardest ones to hit. So, two for James, gets him back into it, five to four. Even five to five. God, keep up, Richard. Again, useless. it was three that last end in my defence If you're still watching, George turned it around. She's 5 4 up after five ends. The two great openers from James. I believe 
nobody has asked the question. What's the format, Richie? There you go. While the ball's coming down, format two sets of seven ends, tiebreaker best of three ends. You'll be sick by the end of the day. Jonathan needs to pull a one out that there, yeah. He's on a decent line, you know. If he's if he's chucked it. If he's chucked it. If he's chucked it. Oh, lovely. Got top side of it. James Lyon one and a measure for two. not bad either this is not bad oh what a goal well played and see if you can tipple down on it could be a full house give you that view there that looks like a full house to me Five, five, four down. This might come quick. He's toddled at it, trying to control it. Trying to control it. He likes he's done a million miles away. He's very close here. He's played a one. Oh, well played, son. One adrift. One to James. Well, James goes ahead in the set for the first time. We come into the final end of the first set. Apologies if you had me stomach rumbling. Remember we are here both days. This the Scottish qualifier concludes tonight. Finals due about half past eight. I hope we're not going to be a twenty past twelve job. I don't think we will. And we're here tomorrow for the ladies' match play singles. Remember the ladies have a bit of a Brucey bonus this year because uh, both finalists get a golden ticket down at Potters into the main event and they also get a little crack at the mixed pairs as well. So well done the WBT and the PBA for making that change. The top side of it. Yep, we're in.
Just over the top from James, lovely length. Chance for Jonathan to put the pressure on here. Get a double in, might just stake the set. wide so James trail on the white catch the ball Well, he's trying to draw it. Needs to run. Needs to run, he's not up. So, at worst, Jonathan, you've got the tide set. Get within about 18 inches and you'll snick it. Got to play the open side for me now. Yeah. Chucked it out. I think he's mo he's wide and heavy. I think. Yeah. Yes. So tight set. Sevens a piece. Six a piece. Good set that. Jonathan probably had the better of it. So he, whether he'd be a bit disappointed not to take the, the set itself. Chance with his last ball to, to take it. It's got too, da too high. Give you a quick sweep of the uh, other scores that's going on at the moment. Over in the far side, Matthew Hyde took the first set against Russell Dale. By Paul Sharman took the first set against Craig Morfitt. Our pocket rocket, Jacqueline Henderson, took the first set against Nick Elfitt. And P.H. Dennis has took the first set against Kylie Jenkins. And if Lorraine's still there, Joe Morris is 6-4 up and they're on their seventh end of the first set. I think she must be lying shot. There's one ball to come, I'll let you know. Oh, 
Oh, what a result. The old snooker shot. <laughs> that's, I think that's the equivalent of the blue in the middle bag. If our mate Reese Vaughan was playing there, he would have said, Ah, lucky boy, you're two to me. Well, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Get the white. Oh, well played. Well played. Has the jack stopped in? It's going to that angle. Yeah, it has. James Lyon. Just having a look to see. I think James could be lying too because he's got the Mitchell in the gully. Try to get you a bit of an angle. There we go. Kill that board. Oh, Jonathan looking to. Back hand, he always. Oh, no, he's still on. Got a feeling that's out. Is it still on? I've got a feeling that Jonathan played that side because if you can see right next to you, you've got a mat. And I think he might have been a, a bit put off by that. Needs to run. Needs to run. Aye. What a tease. Three it is. Jonathan will be kicking himself there. Give him a penalty kick. See a good turnout in the club there, in the bar area. Just the five and a half hours to get here yesterday. Now well played. Reminder, we are streaming live next weekend. Seven and a half hour trip, no doubt, down to Pool. Bournemouth. Good to get an opportunity to get the Southern Bears players on the stream because we do get a lot of uh, support from the South Southern Bears players. It's only right we come down. The pace with James needs to, needs to climb and run, I think. Just get it on that angle. There's just the one. Yeah. 
it's gone very quick. Oh, well played. That's I'll give you an idea where the jack went. That went about four rings away, that jack. Let's get up to show you. See if I can manoeuvre a camera for you. Uh, with me. Get something again shot. There we go. There's the gaffer. Yep, Chief. Jonathan's got a ball just about five feet past the white, so that's second. Joe Morris took the first set against Mark Eckes, Essex. Well, Craig, Jonathan, even. Need to slow. So, I want the James. Four to Blanc. Going to end number three. Uh, we'll give you this scoreboard back. It's a bit of a tradition when we hit the 200 mark. You get a get a round of applause off us. We always appreciate your support. This is not bad. Oh, great effort. Great effort from James, just run out. I'll keep.
needs to finish here. Oh, he's giving it a bit of a bevy. He's giving it it all here. Yeah, kind of like a bit tippy tappy ball as well, played, sir. So, a little tippy tappy shot from James here, spring it back. Six inches, gets wide off his own ball. Or oh, is he going to uh, sell it? Oh, he's, he's a good lad, he can hear the commentary. Yeah, he's playing it. How far can he hold? How far can he hold? He's not a tatty fit. Can he hang on? Well, little skip there from Jonathan. <laughs> In for two. He's got to be careful now. Two gets him back on the back into the game. Three will be nice. He's gone the Brighton line. He's definitely gone wide. He's trying to waft it in. Yep, two it is. Now I reckon the next end's the big end for him. It's a good start. Rebecca's gone for the chalk. Next session due to go on at 12 o'clock. It's a bit of a, it's about four dropouts in the next session. Uh, the game scheduled for the live ring is Lucy Smith taking on Dave Hill. He used to be in Slade. needs to finish with this just needs to finish uh, well played oh might have tippled out lucky
play James fall back fall back for two Jonathan can't afford really to drop a two here I would have a little runner down this side open side tight catch you on ball fat you might get it on, onto the white Well, he's trying to draw it. Fair play to you. Got a feeling he's there. Uh, it's one of them balls where you're in two minds. He'll get up and he says, I should have run at it. It's one in a look. Yep, one it is, I think. I think the stream had a bit of a hiccup there. Don't know what went on, whether he, is, he had a bit of an interruption or not, or whether it recovered. I think it might have recovered. So 5-2 to James, first set tied. And I'll look across the board as a request there from Morgan. Uh, just to know the that Paige Dennis is 5-2 up against Kylie Jenkins. Going into the seventh end. And Paige won the first set. So Kylie needs a uh, a four this end to stop in. Just a quick update. It looks like Paul Sharman's got through. I think you won down. <laughs> We're all down to pace, Jonathan Sun. <laughs> Just need to finish. Finish and drop. Ah, uh, well played. And on the white, up, oh, made it for two. Okay. Yeah, but it's two, well played.
Oh, don't appear. So. Oh, great ball, mate. Good second. I think it's second. Yeah. To give you an update, uh, PH Dennis is getting through against Kylie Jenkins. And Joe Morris is 3 1 up after three ends and one set up against Mark Essex. Just for your info, we've got Joe, we've moved Joe's game in the women's mobile match play tomorrow morning. Stuart will be on ring one, but there's only four games on. Three games on, I think, so we've moved her on to ring six. So that's Emily Koenig taking on Joe Morris about nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Well, Jonathan's toddling after it again. Can he get under the red ball? Can he get under the... Oh, he's unlucky. About half a ball out. James turned his back on that one. <laughs> Might lift it. Is he got enough in to lift it? Needs a big lift. <laughs> so Jonathan looking for a little bit tippy tappy on his own ball, maybe. Might get out to the red ball. Could get a double. I think he's deep. Wafting it back. Waft a bit quicker. So, 5-3, we go to win six. First set tied. Still anybody's game. James has probably had the better with the shorter lengths. Looking at the in a the distance there, Matthew Hyde is five to up against Russell Dale. He also took the first set and they're on the last end. And now we'll pocket rock at the sponsor. Jacqueline Anderson is four nil up in the second set after taking the first set.
Need a sticky yard on here, Jonathan. Get yourself a double, not bad. Play the one here, James. Play the one, son. That's the gaffer. Oh, right. Eight inches, maybe? So have a guess. Oh, nine inches. Bloody hell. Now, do you trust yourself on the draw, mate? All down to PS. All down to PS here. Just need to slow. Needs to slow. And relax. And relax. Mark the fancies, James. Still hanging on. This just needs to run as well. Doesn't want a bit of the white, wants to leave the white. Oh. That might force Jonathan's hand here. Best two at the back. to be running under that ball here he'd be it's the old hit or bust shot really catch the red onto his own ball and he's probably shaking hands oh, you've got to play your percentages mate to go down pick your shot Get on the mat. Sh one shot in your head and play it. He's playing the backhand. So he's either gone really quick. I can't. I can't believe he's going to try and draw it. Yeah, he's gone quick. Oh, he's got it. Well played. Let's just see where the did the jack go out. Yeah, the jack's gone out. Back on the spot, and he's lying. Definitely two. Might even be three. James has got about four foot, I reckon. Worst result. Need second. Well, he's on a Brighton line. Ah, oh, he's good. Yeah, great stuff. Beauty of balls opposition gives them the clap, not in a physical sense, but gives him a, a little, a little clap. Appreciate a good ball. So we come to a final end. Jonathan needing a three to force a tie break.
uh, Jonathan turned his back on it. It's probably going to be top side of it. Give you a quick idea. I'll just flick onto that camera to show how far through they are. Anything within two feet here from James? Yeah, he's that. Need to stop the right side of it. Oh, he's got the wrong side of it. He's His hands kind of tied now, is Jonathan. James beats the back ball here, which he's done. Very close to the white. Get a grab of it. <laughs> it's gone the wrong way. Still got a little sniff of a three, but it's going to take a crack and ball. James just needs to stay high and away. Oh, don't want to get too close on. Well. So he plays to uh, whether you can get a stun off the red ball. Pull the jackpot, maybe it's just on the draw. Or three. Somebody said if Jonathan tends to chuck his t his shirt off when he wins, if he plays this, it'll be off and I think the shorts will be in the lights. It. He's following it. Needs to get out. Needs to get out. Ah, oh, great effort. Well done, James. Through. Win that second set, 7 3. As always, folks, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Another session over and done with. Next round is due to go off at 12 o'clock, which we're running. And probably we're going to be about 5 or 10 minutes late. Um, as always, this has been a Wrong Bias podcast production. And we will be back in 10 minutes. Just to give you a quick update on the other scores, by the way, uh, the sponsor, Jacqueline Henderson's 4-2 up, going into her seventh end. Um, I think she's lying, possibly one, or maybe it's one down. And Joe Morris is currently 4-3 up against Mark Essex, going into end number six. We'll see you.